Tommy, unfortunately, we stand here after a defeat. What are your thoughts after that one? Yeah, it's like a kick in the stomach, to be honest with you. I thought we were really good first half. We, we controlled the game, we controlled the tempo, and we used the ball not bad, to be honest. Mm. And uh, I always thought we were going to be a goal threat. And again, we've got ourselves in front. Um, but the two goals we've conceded, we've got to be disappointed about because they were, they were probably preventable. Um, but the first one, I thought there was a there was a genuine call for handball, you know, and the way our players have reacted nearer the incident tells me that it was. So that's that's disappointing. But going at one one instead of one nil up. Um, in fairness to Rochdale, I thought they they really got on their front foot second half, got their attacker players in the game quicker, and they give us give us problems. But Jordy's only had one real save to make, and it was a great save. Other than that, you know, we blocked and we've defended quite well, but we just didn't use the ball as well as we have over the last couple of months to be honest I thought when we won the ball back or when we got the ball back we usually good for you know a, a lengthy possession but I, I didn't think we did that well enough we were a little bit we were too urgent to get the ball forward on, on occasions and we didn't win the game because we didn't score two goals from my point of view the first half was probably a lot more in our favour mm -hmm. and then as you said there they made some changes um, well, in tactics and stuff at yeah. half time and kind of nullified us yeah. was that a bit do you think that was hard for the lads to deal with well it, it, we explained what we thought they'd do at half time and they did it they got the ball to the wide men and the front men quicker than they did in the in the first half so they asked questions of us as a defensive unit not just the lads at the back the whole team and i just felt we were out of a little we ran out of a little bit of puff in the middle of the park which is understandable um and we just didn't get quite tight enough to stop the press like we did in, to, sorry to, to do the press like we did in the first half we had it spot on in the first but we didn't get it right in the second so but ultimately look we, somebody I'm not sure who it was but somebody switched off at the far post for the winner and he's got a free header you know inside the six yard box we can't be doing that obviously we've scored again that's, that is a positive isn't it we, we keep scoring goals that's going to keep creating opportunities for us to win games and pick up points so that, that's a positive isn't it? yeah I mean listen we, I think everybody who's watched us this season knows we're an attacking threat whether it's in set play or in fluid play and Jack's took his goal really well Lawrence a little unfortunate not to have scored he's had a couple of really good efforts that have been blocked uh, Josh Stokes has Tommy Willard's had Trent Kobe in the very last minute there has had a mm. side foot in from 8 yards and the lads made a tremendous block which is a, it's a certain goal so listen I, I'm not sure we've played I think we've played better than that and won and, and not won games but but I think we should have come away with something because of the way we played in the first half of the game really no, the, the home form is obviously something that's really good the away yeah. form now that I think that's it's definitely three in a row I'm not sure if it's any more than that but two one defeats on the road yeah. is, that, is that something that is a bit well, it, it keeps telling me that we're in the games and if you score a goal yeah. you know we've got to be more Resolute, we've got we've got to try and make this this group of players. But it's a trade off. I've said this before. You can't at this level, in my opinion, you can't have excellent just stoppers who are then great players when they got the ball. We've got some really good footballers in that back line, but defending isn't their best thing. Their defensive, their best defending is having the ball and playing football. So people might look, think I'm daft saying things like that, but that's what it is, and I I understand that. Um, and there's not just us. There's teams in this division who just have to outscore. And we didn't do that today, but for the most part, uh, we've done that this season. But to lose by the odd goal, it, it hurts more than it does if you get walloped. Because, if, you know, if, if there's a gap between you and them and they're better than you, then you can say fair enough. But I thought that was a game that we won the first half and they won the second half. But, but they've got two and we got one. Well, there's a quick turnaround, isn't there, to, to set that right? Obviously, it's not ideal after the travelling we've done this weekend, but it, you know, it's that it's the opportunity to go and, and prove prove that we can win games. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, look, at the end of the day, it, it's a lot less journey time to run to Bromley. Yeah. Um, but you know, we knew before we came up here, it was a really tough week for us. You know, like Rochdale on the Saturday, Bromley away on the Tuesday, and then Halifax at home. Are three teams who I think will be up there or thereabouts. So if we want to be in that mix where we've been so far, then we've got to compete with them. And like I said, to lose two-one isn't a disgrace, but it's just not what we wanted from the game, obviously.